Hi, I'm Kelly, and today Zach and I are going to guide you through calibrating the Alcometer 456. That's right. The uh, 456 comes in a variety of options for probes. You can either have the probe integrated into the gauge, or in this case, this is a separate gauge with a probe that is a plug-in integral probe. Uh, you can have all different types of probes, uh, but in this case, this one is meant for single-handed use and just screws in and out. Uh, but all of the different probe options are calibrated in the same way, and that's what Kelly's going to show you today. All right, so first we're going to start with our base, which for this purpose we're using uh, Ferris Zero Plates. Now, if you have access to an uncoated part that you're going to be actually measuring out in the production area, that would be the best thing to use for your uncoated base during calibration. But if not, you can just use a, a test plate like Kelly has here. All right, and on top of the test plate, I'm going to put my shim. This shim is 9.9 um, .9 mils. Yeah, now when you're choosing your calibration shim or foil, you want to make sure that you always choose a shim that is thicker than the coating that you're going to be measuring. Uh, for instance, if you know that you're trying to target 5 mils on your steel parts, you would want to choose a shim, say, at 10 mils. A good rule of thumb is just go twice your expected thickness, and that way you, make, you can measure anything from 0 to 10 mils, so if you ever spray a bit, you can get an accurate reading. All right, so after I have my shim placed on the base, I'm going to light up um, and press cal when the main menu pops up. So I'll press CAL here. Then it will prompt you to place the probe on the CAL standard, which is our shim. So I will test that. It should be right around 9.9. .9. But whatever type of whatever reading you're getting here, you're going to take several readings and try to get a consistent reading. Take you know three to five measurements, make sure it stays the same, and then you're going to dial the gauge in to whatever the CAL standard says. All right. So we got readings of 9.8 mils. So we're just going to use the up arrow to have it read 9.9, .9. and then I'm going to press the set button. Then we will be prompted to place the probe on the uncoated base. So I'll take my shim off of the base, and I will test that three to five times as well. All right, so I'm getting readings right around zero, so I'm going to press the zero button, and then set. Then it's going to ask you if you want to test your readings. Now, you want to test your readings so that you make sure that your calibration is set correctly. So I'm, again, going to put the 9.9 .9 shim onto the base and test it to make sure it's right around 9.9. .9. Oh, first you have to press yes. 9.9, 9 9.9, 10.0, 10.0, 9.9. Then I can hit OK. Now that I know that my calibrations are set, it's always a good idea to test the thickness of what you're actually going to be testing. Right, so if you're painting at 5 mils, you know, if you have a shim around that's right at 5 mils, it's good to check that. And then you can do this on a daily basis as well, just as a, a, an internal QC check to make sure that the gauge is ready to go for measurements. That's right, and it's 4.95 mil shim, right? Yes, it is. So now you have full confidence that you're ready to go, and now this calibration is locked into the gauge. It's all set to measure anything from 0 to 10 mils. Yep. So thank you very much for watching, and we hope you have your calibration set. Thank you.